Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good morning friends. Nasdaq closed at 10,970.99, a loss of 228 points on Wednesday. Whereas Nasdaq future is now trading with a gain of 122 points. Compared actually yesterday our markets were closed. Compared to Tuesday's closing, it is slightly higher only. Dow Jones also closed at 31,831.99, a gain of just 2.37 points on Wednesday. But Dow Jones feature is now trading with a gain of 34 points. S&P 500 lost 0.81 percentage and closed at 3829.52, a loss of 31.12. S&P 500 also compared with uh, Tuesday, a good gain was there. <coughs> All European markets closed yesterday in green. Singapore Nifty is now trading with a gain of 80 points. All Asian markets are trading in green now. Indications are that Indian markets may also open in green and more volatility be there as today is the derivatives closing day and expecting to close in green. Bell and PNB Punjab National Bank are under NSC FNO ban today. Dabur India reported a decline of 2.85% in net profit year on year basis but consolidated revenue for the quarter is 3 year. CAGR of 10.5 percentage. Sony and Z have decided to sell three Hindi channels to address competition concerns arising out of the merger deal. Century Tech Sales reported 59.38 percentage increase in net profit and may be focused in today. Crowdfund increase consumer health figures reported a drop of 18 percentage in net profit to 131 crores for the quarter ended September 2022. Hindustan Copper paid a dividend of 74.20 crores to government which is 30.01 percentage of profit after tax of 2021-22. Glan Pharma reported a fall in net profit of 20.14 percentage to 241.24 crores due to lower sales and higher expenses. Jammu and Kashmir Bank put up sale of NPS worth 960 crores. IAF Finance reported 38.6% rise in consolidated net profit at 397 crores in September 2022. Rising interest rates in deposits is to hurt the bank's profits in the coming quarters. Hindustan Unilever says that it does not manufacture or sell dry shampoo in India. Tata Steel may be in focus today as the company inked pact with American car maker Ford to supply Jeremy's green steel. Communication Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said that the telecom companies must raise the 5G tower installation per week to 10,000 from the present 2,500. Vaishali Parikh of Prabhupada Silililadar gave the recommended two stocks today are LNT buy at 1,949, stop loss 1,915, target 2,010. Indian hotels buy at 319, stop loss 314, target 330. Manoj Dalmias Pick of the day is Indusind Bank buy at 1153, target 1164, stop loss 1147. Sumit Bagadia shares to buy today are NTPC buy at 169.35, target 175 to 178, stop loss 164. JSW Steel buy at 644.35, target 660 to 680, stop loss 620. Anuj Gupta's stock picks today are ICC Bank. Buy it current market price 925.05, target 960, stop loss 888. MCX buy it 1495.25, target 1550, stop loss 1455. Business lines today's pick is Granules India at 354.50, stop loss 339, target 420. HDFC mutual funds sold 2.07% stake in Power Finance Corporation. Trident has completed its solar power project of 8.87 megawatt power project at Budri in Madhya Pradesh. Maybank Securities PTE has acquired 
26,39,673 equity shares of CSB Bank Limited. Some day trading ideas given by business line today are HDFC Bank go long on a bounce of 1430 with a stop loss of 1450. Infosys above a support now go long with a tight stop loss of 1550. ITC go long now and add up to on tips up to uh, 345 with a stop loss of 343. ONGC go long with a stop loss of 132 only if ONGC breaches 133. Reliance go long if bounces from 2430 keep a stop loss at 2420. SB take fresh longs now and at 575 stop loss 573. TCS go long now and dips at 3155 with a stop loss of 3135. Nifty 50 can bounce from here go long with a stop loss of 17610. The following shares will be trading ex dividend tomorrow. From tomorrow, ex corporation action also. IAFL Wealth Management dividend rupees 17. Sikko Indices is trading components of 1 is to 2 till today only. Sandmeet Infra expect from tomorrow, phase value 10 will become phase value 1. KPA Green dividend 0.25. Focus Business Solution dividend 38 paise. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.